Hello there everyone and welcome to the Gummy Yoshi channel. Uh, today I've got a quick tip on how to easily do the angler's quests in the New Journeys End 1.4 update. Now these uh, quests can be really tedious, especially if you don't know the way to efficiently do them. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do them the easiest and fastest way. So to start it off, you're going to want one of these fishing containers in every one of your biomes. Now that includes your crimson or corruption, depending on what type of world you have, because he can still give quests for those biomes. Keyword there, can. Uh, and so what you'll want to do is make, you'll just want to dig out a hole that's pretty big. You don't want it to be too small. You want it to be pretty decent size. And then for filling it up, you're just going to want to fill it up with water. Now I do have a trick for this. Basically, there is a water duplication glitch in Terraria, just like Minecraft. All you need is one water bucket and then build a little dirt uh, bucket just like this. And what you're going to want to do is click and then just hold down left click right on this spot. And you will basically just infinitely duplicate water. And you will just hold this down until your pool is full. Now, basically, the angler can also give an infinite water bucket, but that is obtained from doing all the fishing quests. So if you haven't started doing them, that tip isn't useful for you yet. So once you have one of these special fishing things in every one of your biomes, it's going to be much more convenient. Now, you don't have to start off with one in all of them. You can just put one in a few of them and then use some of the natural water spawns in your other biomes. But these can make it very convenient. Along with that, using town pylons near these fishing containers can be very convenient. So here I have my uh, grass or my usual forest pylon right near this fishing container. Then if I go down to my cavern pylon, the angler will give you cavern and underground quests. And this puts me right next to it. Now, don't make a fishing thing this small because it will actually reduce your fishing power. So don't do what I did here. Now, like always, I would recommend putting the angler at the ocean because you can easily get your ocean pylon to teleport to him whenever you want to, and it just makes him happy. Might as well make the angler's day while you're at it. Now, the final tip that I have for you for doing the angler's quests much more efficiently is if you are really trying to get this 200 achievement for doing 200 of his, of his quests, it can be very tedious waiting for a new quest every day at 4.30 a.m. So, with the new journey's end update they have added a new system for the bed so you can now uh, you used to be able to just right click on beds and set your spawn point um but now in the journey's end update if you hover over the top of the bed you can actually sleep in it and speed up time by five times now this is very convenient as it stops you from needing to wait the whole 24 hours and it speeds it up greatly instead making you only wait about five minutes instead of your usual 24 minutes so if this did help you then please consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to the channel that would help me out a ton thank you so much for watching i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you in the next one yeah.